Is this how you greet the Saren to after all this time? I had to see for myself. <laughs> Not even a flinch this one. Fearless like a Zeswa. Or perhaps just slow. That depends on if I was the target. My name is Nassim, Oluwiktan of the Zeswa. And no warrior in Pandora can best our spears. <laughs> then you have not seen us fight. I heard you got those pompous weavers out of their tree. But the Sky People ravage our lands too. We know them all too well. I should get Alma. Speak your own mind, Ritnella. We have the same enemy. We must fight together. So our envoy will come to you, just as our people once did. My sister Minang hunts beneath the celebration arches, warrior. Fly the signal kite like our riders do, and she will answer your call. Let me know when you find more RDA rosters. Make sure you prepare before you go meet the Zeswatsahe. It is a long journey to the Upper Plains. Seems like a fighter. How come she hasn't joined us before? We have to prove our work to them as warriors. Our they ride. Ride fast, but they do not like to wait for others. The wind in their grasslands is so sharp it can slice through mountains. It is a fierce land, so the Zeswa must be even fiercer. It will be different, but we are ready for the challenge. You must go without your Ikran. She will not follow you into the grasslands. Why not? It is unknown sky to her, too far from her own. You must trust the bond, new as it may be. She will join you once we have learned more of the land and its challenges. How will I travel then? You will learn. And when you are ready, the Zeswa ancestors can show you the way. But for now, fly to the waterfall cliffs. There is a cave system that runs all the way up to the plains. That must be the cliff. There should be a cave. Whoa! Something's got you spooked. I have to go on my own now, but I'll see you soon. Entrance to the cave.
Raise the signal kite. Nassim sent me to speak with the Saik of the Zeswa. Then we have found each other. You have been missed. <laughs> Mina! The Saturn to tread the grass again. Let us ride the wind and celebrate by the fire. We will hear your tales like we used to. Sister, you must give the warrior time to adjust. Breathe our air, feel our earth beneath their feet. Meet the Zakru. Who is the Sakru? Our wards and our guardians. Our home and heart. The home of our people wanders, warrior. It is never in the same place. But we leave kites in its wake. Flying high. So you always know how to get home. <laughs> you already think like a Zeswa. Now we will teach you to ride like one. First, you must find a dire horse. Any will do. Our bond with them is short-lived. Move slowly, be calm. Then make the bond and get him. You're okay. Don't worry. That's it. Show them they can trust you. You have it. Get ready to ride like a Zeshwa. Ride the wind, warrior. Follow the kites. Soon we will celebrate by the fire. Taught me to ride a dire horse. No way! 
<laughs> Did you name them already? It's a little different. Bonding with them is only temporary. Oh, well, it's still pretty cool, though. How does it feel riding one? Strong, powerful. But they don't turn like any clan does. <laughs> Guess they don't fly as well either. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they make crossing these plains a lot faster. It's all so vast and open here. It's so different. Gotta find the next kite.
back on track. That's it! I found it! That dire horse just... The <gasps> must learn to relax. There is no reason to hurry like that. Poor child. I do not think his uncle realizes how much he asks of him. Yes! Tread carefully, like stranger. They complement each other something. even as they compete. Oh, to be that young again. To bend like a sapling. <laughs> Excellent! Your best brawl by far. These hands have woven many tents through the years. All still stand. Do they ever get hurt? <laughs> Our people have hot heads and warmer hearts. When the Zakru walk, we follow. And when they rest? We let the ground learn our feet as we dance, the air our voices as we laugh and sing. Where is the... I wish I was as strong and fierce as your people. Again. Then you need to drink more Zakru milk. <laughs> we boil it. Curd it with thistles into fresh cheese and leave it to cure with savory dry leaves. And with the way we brew Zanke, the fire that brightens our celebrations. The legend says Zakru are stones made into beasts. Ever since the first Zakru offered us shelter, we have had music, joy, and merry. I have a surprise for you. 
But we need a gourd of fresh Zakru milk. How could I should have one? Flames have their patterns. Pay heed when those change. Do not let gossip distract you. There is something I must do across the stream. It is part of the surprise. Take your time to walk around and meet the Zeswa. Our fearless riders are famous even beyond the grasslands. And there is someone in the nursery eager to meet you. Welcome, stranger. Try our cheeses. Enjoy our games. Your dire horse looks so powerful. Yo, you speak like the sky people. All creatures are like property to them. But she doesn't belong to anyone. I know. They are free. As free as we are. And each is unique, like you and me. This one enjoys the company of Zakru. She finds their calm soothing. Do you ride? I've been practicing. If you want to learn our ways, you must master it. Dire horses are everything to my people. They help us carry our tents. We hunt with them. We fight with them and charge as one. Our bellowing war cries echoing in the plains, shrinking the hearts of our enemies. Don't worry, Sarentu. Those are just stories. How it was in the times when such things were needed. Those times may return soon. If they do, we will be ready. She and I both. Asleep? Mm -hmm. Her name is Ko Akte. She does as the grown ups do. You have built your home around them. They must be deep sleepers. Mm -hmm. They don't just sleep, but feed. But one day they will wake up and leave to look for fresh soil. When they do, we will follow. You are travelers, like my people. Like they used to be. I've only heard stories about the Sarentu. My mother sets when she taught one how to comb a Zakru's mane. But he tripped and fell into the milk vat. Um... But every time they visited, they would raise the celebration kites. And everyone would gather, dance fight, drink sanke. Your clan was loved. And now, you are here. We will celebrate again. The Sarentu visitor. Gossip precedes you. I hope it's good gossip. Just that you are a warrior in the making. Alas, nothing juicy. I've met Kin. He asked me to find milk. Ah, oh, Kin. His jokes used to be the joy of the clan. But he has not been the same since Sosu left. Here, fresh milk, graciously shared with us by the Zakru, 
the foundation of our strength. Who is Sasul? Kin's Zanke drinking partner. Have you not heard? He became the burden carrier. He left the clan. Forever. Carrying that dreadful weight on his back. That must have been very difficult. To leave everyone you love behind. Tis a sad honor. But he took our burdens away, so we travel light. Thanks to Sosul, when the Zakru walk, we can follow. Fiery as I have ever tried. This cheese, like munching on embers. Whew. You know, I almost fell during that last climb with you. Stand straight. I heard they but you do not have to make yourself big. I could I'm too far. If I tried. Always good to see a friendly face. Hello. The milk, just in time for your surprise. Go, pour it. What's his name? Ah, Pasu. It means berry. Like this. He likes them best. Pasu. It doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> they are not for eating. They make him feel beautiful. Here. Just for you. You are friends now. And Zakra, never forget a friend. Have the sky people made a pet of you? <laughs> Hear that? It means the sisters are back. Let us feast on cheese and zanker. We will toast on the return of Sarantu. But someone must raise the celebration kites. It is an honor your people used to enjoy. That will give everyone the signal. 